Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Safe, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily transfer your Figma themes to HTML. So let's get started. First, let's give a quick look on Figma. Here you can choose uh, any template you want by pressing on OK Browse Templates. You can search for any keyword that will help you to find the template that you want. So uh, for this tutorial I will just go with Figma Basics theme. You have to double click it with not a single click and wait for it to load. Now before uh, starting to explain how to change your Figma uh, files into HTML, I will just explain some uh, major features of Figma so that we know how we can edit on our documents or files. So here uh, is the interface. You have layers which are divided into pages. In pages, it consists of frames and frames consist of other elements. For example, let's see this product page. If we navigate it to it, we'll find that it's called a product page, but since it has the, the symbol of a hashtag, this means that it's a frame, not a page. It's named as product page, but it's not a page. It's a frame. So in the frame, you can see other elements or other frames. Here you can see other full, full frames. Let's expand this frame. You will find that it contains four elements, which are an image and three text 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 boxes. So basically um, how Figma works, it works as layers. These layers or the biggest layer is a page. In a page it contains frame. A frame may contain another subframe and subframes may contain elements or another sub subframe and so on. So this is how Figma works. So uh, now let's see how to edit on these elements. So by you, you can choose the whole frame here. So it, you will find on the right the properties of the frame as a, as a group or as a whole. However, if you want to access on a single element in the frame, you can double click on it like this text and you will find that the right menu will show you all the properties related to this text. You can edit uh, its spacing, you can edit its alignment, you can edit all the properties here. Same for images. If you if you click the single click on image, it will start the properties of the frame which contains the image. However, if you double click on the image, it will start the properties of the image itself, not the frame which is containing the image. So basically one click, you access the frame which contains the image. However, two clicks, you access the image itself. So uh, here you can change your image from fill image by pressing on this. You can um, upload any image you want by pressing on choose image and it will allow you to, to choose an image from your device. Uh, you can also um, run a plugin which is called from plugins, let's go to manage plugins, which is called Unsplash. Unsplash allow you to uh, let's let's start it. It allow you to it allows you to uh, choose any image from a preset uh, group of images that it made specially for you. So um, here you can choose any image and it will replace this image. This is how you simply can edit your uh, your frames and titles uh, and uh, elements. If you want to scale one of these frames so can, you can work uh, in a clearer way on it, you can do this in three ways. The first one is by just dragging it like this. The second way is by pressing on this sign and choosing scale and manipulating these properties. And the third one is by creating a page that I made especially for this. I will delete it and make it from scratch. Let's delete it. You can press on this plus sign, then you can go and copy your frame and paste it in a page so that it will occupy the whole space. So this is how you can rescale any frame you want. Now let's jump into how you can convert uh, your uh, Figma into HTML files. I like two special um, plugins which really do this work uh, efficiently and fast. So let's see which two plugins I mean. Let's go to um, plugins, manage plugins. The first one is Anima here. It's amazing. It's literally amazing. 
wait for it to run and you will see how you can easily convert your Figma into uh, HTML. Almost there. And here we are. So all what you need to do is to just click on the frame you want and make sure that you do not click on an element like this. You click on the whole frame. And now you can press on get code. You can either you can even choose between exporting the whole screen or just the selected layer. So let's choose the selected layer. It will preview it in front of you so that if you made a mistake, you you can see that you made a mistake before it's too late. Now let's scroll downward. Let's just give it some time to load the HTML. And then we can download it. And here it has loaded the HTML text. Now uh, we need to uh, scroll down and choose download selection. Now it's exporting and it will download uh, the HTML text as a zip file. All what we need to do is to just extract it and um, open the HTML file which will be out of the extraction. Here is the file after being downloaded. Let's extract it. And then let's open this HTML. And voila. Here you can see what you have created and converted into HTML. So this is basically the first uh, plugin. The next, the next one is, let's go to uh, plugins here, manage plugins. And let's choose Figma to HTML. This is the second one. I, I really like this one too. So here you can choose uh, what you want. Convert. And I will choose frame 2 here. Then it's previewed in front of me. I will just select HTML legacy. And I will convert. It will be converted as a zip file. So let's go again and extract it. Okay. Now let's extract here. And now let's open this HTML file again. Bingo. Here is your HTML file. So basically these are the best uh, two uh, plugins that I have used, which are uh, Anima and uh, Figma to HTML. They are both amazing and they provide fast and efficient results. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.